Hi, this is Jed Shields of Performance Management Innovation. I'm just going to take you through some of the advanced features that we use in our dashboards. In this case, we're going to look at drop down lists, option buttons, check boxes, and slider bars. So, the first thing we can see is that on this production sheet, we're looking at a number of different metrics for a particular product, in this case, Cable 3. So, we've got average build time for Cable 3, forecast build time, Cable 3 all build categories for Cable 3. Now that can be changed using the drop-down box. So if we click on this list here, and we can pick any one of these three products that we're currently measuring. So if I choose Cable 1, that changes the chart to bring in the Cable 1 data and also changes all the chart titles. So this is very useful in reducing the size of the dashboard rather than having one sheet per product. Uh, and obviously you can have many, many different products we can choose from a simple drop down list to pick the product you wish to see and pull it back onto the same chart. Another use of the drop down box is changing the time frame that we're looking at. So currently we're looking at 2010 week 10 and the 11 previous weeks. Clicking on the drop down box, we can actually select which week we want as the, as the latest week. So if we choose 2010 week 6, for example, then the entire chart moves along the time scale back to 2010 week 6 all the way back to 2009 week 46 and simply pick in a different date go back to 2010 week 10 and that shifts the chart back and forth again the next type of advanced feature we've got are option buttons these are used to turn things on and off so in this particular case I've got three option buttons here for a gold, a silver and a bronze level these are going to pull in a different target line. So currently we're looking at a gold target line, which in this case is set at 45 minutes. And you can see from your data that there's very few products actually produced within that target line. We can move to look at the silver level, which now has gone from 45 up to 50 minutes. And you can see that there, there are more products produced within that time frame. Still a few outside, of course. And then bronze moves from 50 up to 55, where we can see that everything is produced within that level. So by having only one target line on the chart at, at one time, you, you're not cluttering up the chart. You're not overloading the user with too many things to look at, uh, thus losing the message. So by simply clicking on the point that you want to see, you can pull in that particular piece of information. Another checkbox that we can use is to turn on or off the data labels. Again, by having the data labels on constantly, sometimes it can clutter the chart up, particularly if you've got many different series on one chart. So we've got a global on or off button here, so click that off and it turns all the data labels on or off. If we go to page two, that's shown a little clearer in this example so we've got an availability metric for cable one now this metric is showing two different sets of data we've got an actual figure so that's the actual time during a working day that was available and then on top of that we've got the red which is the downtime within that particular day so if we had both series on both data labels on then that could be a little cluttered we could have the second series labeled down here somewhere that would make it a little easier but if you had many different series on on this particular chart then you get you get lost very easily with with all the the data labels overwriting each other so by using option buttons we can toggle back and forth between the data sets so in this case we're looking at the downtime values so we've got a 25, a 25 and a 17 for example if we move that back to an actual value we're changing now to 395, 395 and 403 so it's very simple to move back and forth and here we can see we're using an option button and we've also got a global checkbox to turn them on or off completely Again, we've got the gold, silver and bronze 
levels here which actually affect the rack status on this chart so on a bronze level anything above 90% is a green however on a silver level 90% well, isn't good enough anymore we need 97% is a green and on a gold well actually you need 99 and above so you can see very quickly at what sort of level you're actually working at simply by clicking on the relevant option buttons if we quickly go back to the executive summary I mentioned before about moving back and forth along your time scale using the drop down list there's another way that we can do that and that's using slider bars um, simply clicking on the left or the right button moves your charts back and forth against a different time period and again the amount of time that we can move back and forth is completely dependent on the application, how many, how many weeks you want, want to actually be able to move back and forth is completely up to the user and what he requests. And that's a very simple way of changing the, the time frame that you're actually looking at. Visit my website www.performancemi.co.uk and you'll find more demonstration videos uploaded.